Hey guys, it's Sapir and welcome to Python tutorial number 34. In this tutorial we're going to be looking at the uh, else clause, or the else statement, which is, again, like the else if, part of the if block. Uh, now, last tutor tutorial, sorry, we had a statement, uh, or a block, of the if statement, which looked like this, where we would check and see if x was bigger than 50, if it was print true, if it wasn't, check to see if it was less than, if it was print true, if it wasn't, check to see if it was equal to. Uh, now, there's a slight flaw in here, and you know how I told you how using the else if was, uh, was good pro programming practice, sorry, and uh, using s tons of separate if statements was bad practice. Well, this statement, although I showed you it in the last tutorial, it's actually bad practice, because if you think about it, if x isn't greater than 50, and if it's not less than 50, it has to be 50. So there's no point in bothering to check to see if it's 50. Uh, and that's where the else clause comes in, okay? So let's take a look at this. We'll say x equals... Was that caps? Capital X. Oh, I've got caps lock on one sec. Oops, x equals 50. There we go. Okay. So let's have a look at this. If x is less than 50 print true 1. Okay. L if oops, x is greater than 50 print true 2. Okay. Then finally, we'll say else print x equals 50. Okay. Let's run this now. And then we we get these um we get printed x equals 50. And let's run this, run through this to see what's happened. Um, so first of all, we've obviously assigned the variable x equal to 50. Then we check to see if x is less than 50. If it was print true 1, it wasn't. So it went to check to see if x was greater than 50. If it was print true 2. And then it finally hit this else clause. Now an else clause doesn't need a uh, condition. It doesn't need to check to see if something is true. Because it happens... Um, it will only happen so long as all the other ifs and else ifs uh, that have been tested are fo what turned out false. Okay, that's the only point at which it will happen, and it won't happen if one of them has turned out true. Okay, so you always have to remember that in an if block, only one of the clauses blocks will ever be executed. That's the way it works. So we're checking to see here. If x, if x was less than 50, it wasn't, so it didn't execute any of that. Here, it wasn't, so it didn't, didn't execute any of that. And then here, because it was an else clause, it didn't need a statement, and it happened only so long as these two turned out false. Uh, so it printed x is equal to 50. Now let's just show you something really quickly. I'll do this. I'll say if x is less than 50, print true 1. Elif x equals equals 50 print true 2 else print x is uh, greater than 50 we'd run it and we get true 2 so this just proves that the else clause is only executed so long as none of these uh, clauses are false so long as None of them are true, sorry. Um, and that's pretty much it. I don't know what we're going to look at next week, oh, next tutorial rather, but um, hopefully it will be coming soon. And I'm working on that PHP tutorial, by the way. I've just, they take a while to uh, prepare because I've got to write up the whole tutorial. It's like basically writing a whole website page so you can understand. Anyways, for now, guys, over and out.